Also use this micro hair mist spray. Um, got it a while ago. I still got some, um, and I put it on my Elf moisturizer. I don't really show it, but I had already brushed my teeth, and I used the Sensodyne Sensitive in Gum. So. Today I go in at 10.30, so my friend Julia is going to bring me some breakfast, so I'm just going to make sure that I take my prenatal, drink some water of course, and then later on take my iron supplements. So for right now, I'm just going to get started on helping out with dishes. so that then it's one less thing that I have to do when I come back and get so sunny. My boyfriend will be a doll sometimes and help me out.
So instead of having some ED, I'm gonna actually have some OJ that, once again, my friend Julia from work has been a doll and offered to get me something that I wanted. And I've been wanting some, some OJ. I'm to do like a little pregnancy update, which I do, I do want to film a video with my experience with my pregnancy. Um, so I'm 33 weeks as of Sunday, and I actually have my baby shower this weekend that I keep forgetting about. Um, so I'm 33 weeks pregnant, and I have been experiencing uh, acid reflux, which I am not used to. My younger sister, Megan, she was actually pregnant before me, and then about six months later, I got pregnant. Was not planned at all, I promise. Um, now she already, she was kind of, kind of, she has acid reflux like naturally. So I don't know if like it hadn't like gotten worse or anything with her, but like for me, like I'm not used to it. So I'm not a big fan of it. I'm gonna give you guys a bump. So first off, this is my stomach. That's a free stain that I didn't know that was there. <laughs> and this is my tummy. This little like okay, so I had my belly button pierced and then I decided to fake tan using water mist for the very first time and I've been trouble getting it off. So don't judge me, but yeah, that's that. So yeah, this is my belly. For anyone that doesn't know, which I don't know if I said it here on my channel or not, let me see what time it is. My watch will work. It is 9.15, so I do have to get ready to leave here soon. But um, I am having a baby boy. Uh, now when I come back, I'm probably going to be doing our towels. Any small load of like actual clothes that we have to get Cleaned. I'm gonna do that. As far as eating, so they told me that I should start eating smaller meals. And obviously, like, I'm gonna be hungry more often because, you know. But, um, so I've been trying to tell myself when I go out to eat, like, we went to Texas Roadhouse for my birthday, and I love, don't mind my gums, it's being weird. I don't like that. Sorry, but I had to point it out because I felt like it was noticeable. Um, but so when we, he treated me out to Texas Roadhouse for my birthday, the 15th, so now I'm 24. Mm -hmm. um, I get this mother chicken, and I got double mashed potatoes, and I got corn. Um, and we had an appetizer. No sleepy flex. So I've been kind of struggling to sleep fully at night or get like fully comfortable, which is kind of annoying because I felt like for a while, like already, like it was a struggle. And then I got comfortable, and then I'm like, yeah, good night sleep. And now I'm just like, my son's like, no, my body's like, no. So that hasn't really been too much fun here. This is the prenatal that I take. I take the one a day. I obviously take two a day because that's what it says to take. I had a different prenatal, which I feel like that was possibly a little bit stronger, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that's like a thing. But like, it got to the point where I was like used to them and I was like, okay, I can deal with this because you know, some prenatals are really disgusting. Um, And then I don't know where like start making me like really sick. All right, so I, I just got off FaceTime with my sister. I just added on this flannel, and as of right now, I just did the bed. This is clean stuff that was worn, so I just need to put it away. And then the dresser, I just need to clear up. Um. And then I think I'm gonna add on some mascara. Ooh. 
set my camera right there. My deodorant. I have the Native Cucumber and Mint. I really want to get the Eucalyptus one, if I'm saying that correct, just because like I really do enjoy like that scent and I love that it's natural and all. So I switched to Native a little bit before that I found, well, no, about a year since I found out that I was pregnant. Mm, I just love fresh clean scents and thing I love about this is that it's paraben and aluminum free and that I use is peppermint oil and since it's a rolly I just put it on my wrist I add a tiny bit on my temples and rub it in um, but this has been a really good lifesaver as far as helping with nausea also gum and mitts as a backup in my car, I keep the Dove um, sprayable coconut dry spray deodorant. And I keep Burt's Bees Champagne Lip Shimmer, which I'm also going to put on. I try to keep between like two or three possible, possibly, whatever on hand this is more tinted so i like it i have my eyelash curler curl my eyelashes get some mascara on mm. okay so i applied like a really thin coat of a mascara so i'm gonna recurl those i might add on more mascara later but some other things that i decided to put on was some pink blush that i really like blush is one of my favorite things so I'm going to bring my lotion that I actually got this from Food Lion, a waterproof mascara from CoverGirl that I used. Reason being is because you leak when you're pregnant. So I don't want to be sitting in it. So I bring one of these for my hair. I do have on my glasses. So these are my new glasses that I got a couple months ago. And yeah, so one of my new favorites. I'm just gonna use this clip right now. Just see whatever I gotta do, get my hair out of my way. I'm gonna put on my quacks because I feel like Cracks are really good for when you're pregnant, especially for when you are working in a restaurant. Pull up some hair to help free my face. Um, just because like at any given time when you're sitting down, you can actually, you know, um, I feel like that it helps take off more pressure on your feet. Um, but I can just like take them out while sitting. And of course I wear socks. Um, and I try to just rotate my foot. And so, like, I really feel like that is what helps me. I'm going to spray. I feel like when I talk, I'm running out of breath. But no, it's because baby boy. I'm going to spray. And I typically, I typically straighten up the room if need be. That kind of got to my eye. I make the bed every day to wash dishes if there's any from like last night or whatever and i do that like that's like my basic thing like i do like every single day since we have church tonight i'm gonna bring my watch charger and a charger put it back on my glasses this is my bag, so whatever I can get organized and all. Also, before I leave, I'm going to grab my keys, grab my drink, possibly grab some stacks, of course, because I mean, like, why not? Um, I make sure that the air conditioner is off, my fan is off, ceiling fan's off, lights are off. Um, 
I didn't really do that before. That's okay. Pretty mate. I pretty much make sure that just everything is off prior to leaving as far as extra no electric that could be wasted for a bill to be paid. I do need to quickly put back my previous tools though. Okay, so I did that. Orange juice is right there. I'm gonna grab a snack just for like a car ride. So I'm gonna grab some cookies and extra server bar. And I'm just double checking what I got. Now I tend to eat salads at work and then I buy like spinach and all fruits. Um, so I feel like for my pregnancy diet, I feel like even beforehand, I felt like I had a pretty good direction. I don't know if I want to take anything else. I think that's good for now. That's good for you. Inside my car, gonna turn her on. Peep, baby Griffin. So ago, I still have it. I make it, you know, last long. Didn't help that I kind of breathe them in. So whenever I get into my car, pretty much the first thing that I do is uh, I always have to roll down the windows, you know. Kind of just like how you let your house breathe. Um, I kind of just do the same thing with my car.